Hi everybody, it's Doreen, and I'm back today with a request from one of my subscribers who asked me when I mentioned that I used the Bow Easy if I would do a tutorial on how to use the Bow Easy. Now I know there are some tutorials out there um, that other YouTubers have done. But I found when I got my bow easy and I went out there and I looked at some of the tutorials, I still had a little trouble understanding how to use it. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on how I use the bow easy. I'm not saying my way is the right way or the wrong way, but this is what I do to make it work for me. So this is the bow easy. And I did pick this up at one of my um, local scrapbooking stores. Um, I don't know where they got it from. But anyway, and I have marked on each side um, what type and sizes of bows that you can make. The Bow Easy makes um, from 3 quarter inch to 2 and 3 quarter inch. So to make the 3 quarter inch, you would go from here to here. And then to make the one and three quarter inch bow, you would go from here to here. And then for the one and a quarter inch bow, you would go from here to here. And this is the one and a quarter inch. This is what it would look like. And then for the two and three quarter inch, it would be from here to here. And this is my two and three quarter inch bow. And then from here to here is the one and three eighths. And then from here to here is the one inch. And that would be this little tiny one here. And then from here to here is the two and three eighths. And that would be this size right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you how that I do this. Now I'm going to make the two and three quarter inch so that you can see how it's made. So what I do is I take my ribbon directly from the spool of ribbon. And you start off with a tail. And I usually make my tail about that long. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wrap around the bow easy, back around to the front, and then I wrap again, around, again, and then I go ahead and cut my ribbon. And I just do this so I know how much ribbon I'm going to use because I cut directly from the spool. Okay, so now... I'm going to go ahead and take that off and start again with my tail. And before I do that, I just want to cut this at an angle. So it'll be easier to get through the center hole. So I'm going to make my tail like so. And I'm going to leave that much for the tail. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap around the bow easy. And then I'm going to place my thumb right there to hold the ribbon. And then I'm going to take my other tail and go through that center hole because we're making the two and three quarter inch bow. And I'm going to put this through to the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring my tail back up through that center right there. And then I'm going to take the ribbon and wrap it around. And you'll have a loop. Here's your loop right here. So I'm bringing that back around and through the loop and bringing it back toward me. So it looks like this. And then you just pull straight up like so. So you have one side of your bow here and then you have one side of your bow here. And then what I do is I take it off the bow easy. And there you have your bow. And then I'll go ahead and I'll trim 
if I don't want my tails this long, I go ahead and trim. And like I said, I'd rather have too much of a tail than not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So I'm going to take this one apart. And we're going to do this again. And we're going to make the two and three quarter inch again. So I'm going to find my two and three quarter inch, which would be from this side to this side. And I'm going to go ahead and leave my tail, wrap around the bow easy, and then come back to the front. And then I'm going to hold that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my this tail end and stick it through the center of the hole. And I'll have a loop. And then I'll come back around to the front through this hole at the bottom here and take my ribbon and go through the loop I'm trying to get this so you can see it so let me pull this back some more and I want to make it so you can see me go through the loop so I've gone through the loop and then I'm just gonna pull my tail up straight up like so and then I can take the ribbon off the bow easy and then you have your bow and then I kind of twist to get it the way I want and then I go ahead and I cut my tails so that's it that is how you use the bow easy Thanks for watching everybody and I hope I was able to help um, my subscriber that asked me to demonstrate the bow easy. Bye.